First off, I'd like to make it clear up front that this video is sponsored by ASUS, and in it, I get to take a look at both these rather incredible machines. This one is the ZenBook Duo 14, the UX482 model, and the other is the ZenBook Pro Duo 15 OLED, the UX582. They're both dual screen laptops with an impressive amount of horsepower and are billed as the laptop of tomorrow. And just looking at them, you can kind of see why. Let's start with the smaller of the two, the 14 inch model. It's meant to be a great option for pretty much anyone who's looking for a premium machine with a bit of extra screen space. If you use a laptop for work, especially for working from home or on the go, this is the perfect machine for it. Despite having dual displays, it's still the same 14 inch form factor you get in a regular machine, and it's still just as light at just 1.6 kilograms. That makes this incredibly easy to take with you in your backpack and be able to work wherever you are. The Bigger Brother 15 inch Pro model is a bit more of a powerhouse. It's an Nvidia Studio machine with an RTX 3070 and either an Intel i7-10875H or the one I have with an i9-10980HK plus, as the name suggests, a 15.6 inch 4K OLED display that covers up to 100% of the DCI-P3 spectrum and is even Pantone validated, plus it's also a touchscreen with stylus support. Being a more powerful and slightly larger machine, the Pro 15 does have a touch more size and weight to it, although not by all that much. It weighs 2.3 kilograms and is still just an insane 2.15 centimeters thick. One feature that both of these models share is their secondary screen pad plus displays. Asus moved the trackpad over to the right and the keyboard down so that they could fit these full width displays. The resolution matches the prim primary display, so on the ZenBook Duo 14, the screen pad plus is a 1920x515 resolution, but on the ZenBook Pro Duo 15, that runs at 3840x1100. Both models use an IPS panel for the screen pad, alongside both having uh, touchscreen and stylus support built in. The screen pads use ASUS's ErgoLift AAS Plus hinge, meaning not only does the whole laptop lift off of the surface it's sitting on for better cooling, but the display lifts up too, making it easier to use, more comfortable to be writing or drawing on, and means that the internals get better cooling as ASUS hid their air intakes under the screen pad so it will always be drawing in fresh and cool air. Now, you might be thinking, what would you use a second screen like this for? Well, on the Duo 14, I can see this as being the, the perfect machine for a student. You can have your notes on the bottom where your, your Word document or your essay, whatever it is you're, you're writing in, uh, and then using the screen export tool, you can have it pinned to the bottom display. You can also have it snap to take up half or a third of the screen and maybe pin Spotify to the right so you can be uh, flicking through your music while still reading and writing. And then on the primary display, you can have one or maybe even two windows open for researching or reading from like notes from your teachers or research papers or articles. Or maybe it's your work laptop and then you could have your emails open on one side of the screen pad, Slack or Teams on the other, and your main work open on the primary display. It can even make video calls easier as you can have the call open on the big screen at the top, but have your notes or emails up on the screen pad so you can easily refer to them without having to hide or minimize the call window. Now, if like me, you spend most of your life in a video editing program like Premiere, well, that's where the Pro 15 comes in. This absolute beast of a machine has plenty of power to edit the 4K videos like this one that you see on the channel, and the screen pad makes editing on the go so much easier. 
You can set it up how you like, but for me personally, I like having the timeline on the bottom display, my output monitor up on the top right, and my source monitor, effects controls, and footage bins on the left. And that makes editing so much easier and so much more efficient. You can scrub through the timeline even using your finger on the screen pad, which is great. And the stunning color accuracy of the primary display's OLED panel really stands out. It comes out of the box with a delta E of less than two, or in other words, as close to perfect as the human eye can detect. So I'd say that's pretty good. Now, if you're willing to forego moving the timeline down, the ProDuo 15 has another trick up its sleeve. If you open the Screen Expert 2 app tray with the button on the left of the screen pad, you can launch the customizable control panel. This hooks into a number of different applications and lets you control a load of settings from those programs. You can add or remove buttons and dials and sliders as you like and control what you want them to do. In Premiere, for example, you can have it set so that you have a nice large dial on the left that will let you scrub through the timeline, a button to trim to the playhead, one to export the sequence, and a slider to control the overall volume. It puts all of your favorites or you, you know, useful functions and tools in one place right in front of you, which is incredibly useful. If photo editing is more your thing, the control panel supports Photoshop and Lightroom Classic, so all of your HSL dials, brush sizes, and effects can all be arranged how you like. One added bonus of the Pro is the included stylus in the box. So if you want to brush on a gentle shadow or just straight up draw on it, that is a completely supported and actually a really nice experience. Of course, since this model rocks an RTX 3070, if you do want to fire up a game on your lunch break, it's got plenty of power to do that. I've got it set to 1080p high settings in Cyberpunk, and it's perfectly playable. You could even enable ray tracing if you'd like. Thanks to the second screen, you can even have your emails or messaging client open while you game. And of course, as you might expect, gaming isn't the main focus of this machine, but it's a, a, fantastic to see the, the sort of versatility of being able to power through games in the evening, but edit videos or even 3D model the next day. You can even use the NVIDIA GeForce Experience program to switch between their studio and game-ready drivers. So if you know you're gonna be away from work for a little while and you will want to be gaming more often, you can switch over to the game-ready drivers for a better gaming experience and then switch them back when you get back to work. So if you're looking for your next laptop, whether it's a, an on-the-go office machine or a productivity monster, you might want to consider getting a ZenBook Duo. I genuinely enjoy having the extra display, especially for me for things like editing on the go and for the sort of work that I do, the stunning OLED of the Pro Duo would probably be my pick. I'll leave links to both of these in the description. If you want to find out more, check them out yourself. Again, I want to thank ASUS for sponsoring this video and I do want to thank you guys for sticking around watching. I hope the video was interesting and enjoyable. If you have any questions about either of these machines, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to see more videos, both from showcases like this, reviews, guides, tutorials, and a load of other stuff, do feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon. I'll leave some more videos on the end cards, maybe the Zephyrus Duo, which is the, the gaming version of these uh, so you can check that one out as well because that's pretty sweet and that's kind of it like i said if you have any questions feel free to leave those in the comments down below thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video